Today, we're going to create a restaurant menu app very fast without writing a single line of code and totally for free. So if you're not a software developer, but you have an idea of an app that you would like to build, stay tuned because this will impress you. I'm Alex, the architect from Backfrap, and today I'll show you how to do that using the Backfrap plugin for ChatGPT. And by the way, if you like this kind of content, please leave a like in this video and consider subscribing to the channel so you'll never miss out on new content like this. So here I have ChatGPT where I have chosen the GPT-4 model and I have the back for app plugin for ChatGPT installed. We have videos here on the channel showing how to install the back for app plugin for ChatGPT. And here I have my uh, back for app account where I have two apps already running. And in here, I'm going to create a new app to be my restaurant app. ChatGPT will do that automatically for me. So back to ChatGPT, I'm going to ask to create a new app and remember, you can put multiple instructions in the same prompt that plugin is smart enough to understand it and create the tasks accordingly. And all this is for free in Backwrap. You might need a uh, OpenAI paid account to have access to the plugins, but on the Backwrap side, it's all for free. So please create a new app in Backwrap called called my menu. This app should reflect a menu for a restaurant. This menu should be divided in sections such as starters, main dishes, um, drinks and desserts. At the very end, add five uh, example items with prices to each section. And now let's just hit enter. So this will start the Backfire plugin green box that you can expand to see all the operations that are being done in Backfire by ChatGPT. But with just this prompt, as I said, it is smart enough to understand all the complex logics that will need to be implemented in order for such app to work. So all I have to do is to wait for it to complete all the operations and let's see what the results will be. So there you go, it created the whole structure for me and created five items in every single section of my menu with sample prices. So if I go back to back for app and refresh this page, you see that my menu is here and I can open the uh, managing dashboard. where you find the dessert section, drink session, main dishes section, and starter section. So I can, for instance, click starters to see how much a Caesar salad costs. And this works for all other sections as well. And this goes much further because I can now use the same plugin for ChatGPT to consume this data in a smart way. So back to ChatGPT, let's prompt it to generate a meal for me. So please, generate a list from this menu having a starter, a main dish, a dessert, and a drink in a way that the price is as low as possible. So I'll ask it to get the cheapest uh, items from every list so I can have a full meal without spending much money. So there you go. If I want to have a lunch in this example restaurant without spending much money, I would start with a garlic bread, then having a veggie burger, having a coffee and an ice cream sundae. This would cost me 24 26 now let's suppose I want to spend some more money. So please let uh, generate 
an option with the highest possible prices for each section. And there we go. If I'm feeling fancy, I could have mozzarella sticks, then a steak fries, have a beer, and finish with a tiramisu. And all this would cost me 39.46. So this is a very, very useful way for you to develop your app only using human language without any uh, knowledge about programming, about software structure, and about databases. So. If you like this content, please leave a like in this video and consider subscribing to the channel so it can help us grow. I also shared this link with a friend and they can learn something too. If you are not subscribed, thank you for that. And if you have any questions, suggestions or any implementation you'd like to see, please leave in the comment section below. We always answer all the questions. I hope this content was useful to you and hope to see you back. See you soon. Bye-bye.